when I met Alexis 25 years ago, we, we had the most romantic of meetings. We literally ran into each other in Dublin. I was only over for a few days visiting friends. And uh, we, I was living in England at the time and then in Scotland, and we moved back and forth between the two countries. And Alexis had a little limp. And uh, it was a limp that didn't go away, but he said he'd hurt his back. And we were so focused on each other that we didn't really notice it. And then um, I was back in, I was studying in Oxford at the time. And I remember I was in the hallway of the house where I was living, the phone rang. And Alexis told me that the doctor said it was MS. And I just remember the world crumbling. I think it's true to say there hasn't been a day that's gone by since then that I haven't thought about MS. It's there constantly. But the thing that is more at the front of my mind is Alexis is a, just the most amazing person. He never gives up. He fights continuously. He's always looking for another way to do what he wants to do. And he, he keeps that at the front of his mind. And he puts his family and his friends and uh, what needs to be achieved first. I've never seen him you know, let the MS get the better of him. And that's not to say that he hasn't had difficult times, and that's not to say that there haven't been times that he's got down, but he always has that kind of no surrender attitude. And it's, it's not something to overcome him, it's something, you know, it's a challenge to work out. And he's, he's found a solution, or we found solutions to every problem that's come our way. And I find now that focusing on the future isn't something I spend a lot of time doing. I spend a lot of more time focusing on the present and uh, ensuring that we are making the most of every day. Um, I suppose we, having a 12-year-old son, we do think about the future, but you, know, uh, um, you can't forget about the present. If you spend all of your time doing that, you know, looking ahead, you're not going to live each day as best you can. But what I think the Alliance is doing, um, both in, in the actual content and practice of the work and in the way you talk about it, is reminding, reminding us that progression is an issue for everybody who has MS. And that in order to really make a difference in the world of MS research, we have to focus on progression. And whether it's primary progressive MS or secondary progressive MS, we really need to find a way and find ways to understand uh, progression and, to, and then to do what the Alliance is doing, to look for therapies, to, to focus that research, and then to help people live with what progression is, is causing for them. So that combination of, of research, you know, looking for a cure, but also finding better ways to, to live with it. And uh, you know, the Alliance has changed, changed the frame for people living with progressive MS. It's no longer a case that you're one of the small number. It is the issue with MS. So I'm delighted that the Alliance is doing this. I think this is ultimately meaningful for everybody with MS. And hopefully uh, this window of, um, not, of progression not being an, an issue will be you know, bigger for people with uh, relapsing remitting. But you know, the Alliance will in the meantime remind us that progression is an issue for everyone. Mm -hmm.